Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome into the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. And this is a video that I was hoping I wouldn't have to make. Uh, and I pretty much stayed away from making it for the better part of the last two or three months. And I'm gonna make this short and sweet. I'm gonna say what I have to say and then I'm gonna leave it at that. I won't go into it again. Feel free to use the comment section below. I can't guarantee you what comments I'll let through and which ones I won't. But if you have something good to say, put it down there and hopefully it will make it through the process. Um, with that said, the title of this video is pretty obvious. Uh, those of you that don't know what the title's referring to, probably best that way, and uh, I wouldn't suggest going to look it up. You'll just get yourself into a rabbit hole. Um, there is a YouTube channel by the name of Jessica Smith. Um, it was created probably several months ago that I noticed it. Um, I did a live show uh, two or three months ago that I remember. Um, when I first became aware of the channel, somebody actually sent it to me and I mentioned the channel in there that I had gone through it and that there was some, you know, interesting content. There was only, uh, I don't know, three or four videos at the time on the channel and that's when I became aware of it. So ever since then, the channel has kind of taken off. It's, it's got a lot more videos. I get sent links to videos, uh, screenshots of comments on the channel all of the time. And just a quick long story short, for those of you not familiar with the channel and who are watching this video right now or watching it later, uh, the channel is dedicated to, and what's the best word I could use here, exposing people in the reseller community for bad behavior. Um, and I'm not gonna name names, but it's several people. Uh, it, it has made videos about at least three or four that I know of. Um, a lot of the content I agree with, uh, some of the content I don't agree with, uh, some of it I support, some of it I don't. It's interesting, it's a conversation starter for sure, and it's something to keep in mind when you're out in the world. Um, but the point of my video today is to let the entire world know, and whether you believe me or not, uh, that's fine. And I've never come on here, I have nothing to lie to you guys about, I have nothing to hide from you, I never have, never will. And if you have a problem, uh, you know, put it in the comment section, message me, we'll talk about it. But I don't lie to you guys. Uh, the channel is not mine. I did not create it, I do not own it, I do not run it, I do not uh, pay somebody to own it, create it, run it. I have had zero anything to do with what is on that channel in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I did not put anyone up to that channel. I did not tell somebody to create a channel in order to post the content that it posts. So whatever route you guys wanna go that I had something to do with it is wrong. 100%. Um, I have, like I said, mentioned it in a video. I agreed with some of the content that came out on it, but it is not me in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I will say it again. It is not me in any way, shape, form, or fashion. In fact, one of the videos with a, uh, a thread of comments, a string of comments that were done back to back to back, was posted as a video commented on, another video came out and more comments came out in about a three hour window, this was sent to me, the only reason I know, at a time that I was out of town, I was about two hours away, almost three hours away, with no computer and I had left my phone in a vehicle that I was not in for three hours while those comments and the, res the responding comments and other comments were done. Videos on YouTube, for those of you that don't know, can be scheduled. So absolutely, somebody could post a video at 8 p.m. and be out of town and it still could have been them. But with the corresponding comment threads, impossible. So uh, for those of you that wanna continue putting comments and sending me nasty emails and messages telling me to stop making videos on that channel, just know it's not me. It never has been me, it never will be me. And if I have something to say about somebody else, I'll come right here on this channel and I'll say it. One, because I got nothing to hide. Two, because I'm not scared of anybody. And three, I'm gonna get views and get paid for it if I have something to say about somebody. That channel, as far as I understand, is not monetized. It never shows advertisements and they're not getting paid for it. So obviously whoever is in charge of that account, be it she, he, or they, or whomever, is uh, is doing it for reasons not monetarily inspired. They're doing it 
um, in my opinion, because they want new sellers and new viewers to be aware of what really goes on behind the scenes. I applaud them for a lot of the effort they put into it. I think some of it may be over the line slightly, some of it not quite enough to the line, but all in all, that is their opinions and their content, and um, I can't stop them, you can't stop them. Uh, all we can do is either watch it and listen, don't watch it, whatever, but stop telling people and spreading rumors that it's me. Please, stop. I don't care if you send me emails and messages, whatever, I can ignore you, but you're telling the rest of the world that I own that channel? Wrong. And oh, by the way, there are ways to prove it. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're past that. Let's get back to regularly scheduled content. If you're watching this video, I'm gonna have another video that's normal, positive, awesome craziness coming out in just about an hour. So let's get back to being cool, guys. Let's not be ding-dongs. See ya.